This is a basic long jump teaching progression I like to use with my athletes when I first begin them training in the long jump and I first introduce them to the long jump action. And one of the things we do is we work on establishing that basic 30 degree position. So what you'll see the athlete when they set up, when you see uh, better athletes when they're long jumping, you'll see that their angle, their leg angle is going to be at approximately 30 degrees on, at, at the takeoff position, which is what we want to get the athlete to understand to keep a straight line and to be there at that particular position. So if we take a look here, we'll see, um, this looks like Harrison here that we're using, and we look at their approximate positions, about 30 degrees, so back from um, being on the vertical plane. So we teach them that so they become accustomed to it, and then from there we let the athlete progress to you know moving the legs through right now they're just stepping back and forth to get the position and, and, and engage the arm then we teach them to now to use the arms to swing the leg through as well and the biggest thing here when the athlete is doing this movement is that they keep the chest up and that they look straight ahead and the chest stays up um, you'll see sometimes athletes when they're first learning they're beginners is they'll make mistakes by um, looking down or something along those lines and or they'll have the chest you know like this athlete's looking down this athlete's looking down so we teach them that from the basic uh, progression as they uh, work their way through um, learning the movement then from there once they show that they can do that movement we let the athlete then start a static uh, jump position from there so from here we'll see uh, let's look at Vivi here at the very end 30 degree position um, this is Vivi right here 30 degree position and we let the athlete begin to load the leg a little bit and feel what it feels like to really put power into the ground while driving that leading leg up. So that's the basic position here for jumping. And that could even be the high jump and it could be, and it could be the long jumps as well. Not so much a triple jump because we actually advance the thigh forward as opposed to out. And here we want to work on some basic things with the athlete. Uh, head up, vision up, chest up, and that sort of thing, and using the proper arms as well. Um, you'll see some athletes when they're when they're young, and they don't have the, the coordination yet, is they'll tend to use the wrong arm, or they'll look down, or something along those lines. So this is a good basic progression as well. And from there, we teach them what we call the Groucho step. This is the most controversial part for most folks. They don't really understand that when you look at um, advanced athletes, they actually do lower the center of gravity. So we have to teach the athlete how to lock the ankle and to roll the foot over. As you watch Josh right here, they're rolling the foot over from heel to toe. It feels awkward at first, but they have to understand it. Of course, many of the kids are too young to remember who Groucho Marx is, but that's what we call it, the Groucho Step. It's named after Groucho Marx. So we want the athlete to know how to roll over, block the ankle. You see there's no uh, plantar flexion. Um, it's all pretty much dorsiflexion and rolling from the heel to toe, as you can see here. And we learn how to do it first solely, then we have the athlete advance it to where they do, can do it quickly. And then from there, we, we, we progress that into having the athlete transition the Groucho step into a, uh, into a basic jump, for lack of a better term. So here you see the athletes, some are a little more advanced than others. Um, let me see if I can find an athlete here that's actually doing the jump. And where they, you know, let's look at Evan right here. He pushes down and rolls it through and up off the ground. Real simple. He, in his case though, his uh, he didn't really groucho or pick the toe up, so he had the problem with, the, with having the toe down, so that's a problem for him. But that's the basic concept, is to go from there. Um, I think I had a little more advanced jumper here. I think Viviana, one of the others was in here, was doing it pretty well. Okay, Josh. Yeah, not too bad. So let's take a look at Josh. He takes actually too big of a step. So this is something that, that you can use with your athletes to start learning how to transition. Here's a basic windmill. Teach athletes when they're learning how to hitch kick long jump, they have to understand how to keep the arms on the same plane as they windmill through the air. Um, so we do it statically first. And you can see this athlete here, his, um, his arms are on the same plane. It's Josh, one arm is here, one arm is there, and that's not correct. So and that's a good timing and coordination developer. Same here. Hurley's here and then here. That's just not correct. But you get other athletes who pick it up. You understand it. Harrison's here. Harrison's there. Pretty good. Evans here. This arm's there. Not so good. But you know, this is their basic movements in their first learning. 
And then you see right here, Harley's almost perfect with her uh, arm alignment. And same with Elaine right here. They're in pretty good shape. So we want to be sure that athlete can learn how to cycle the arms through and while keeping the head and chest up. And it's a good coordination developer. Then now we take the athlete and have them walk in place, doing the same movement. And as you can see, um, Viviana has pretty much has it. Um, the only issue with her, of course, is her top arm's a little loose. So we like to keep the, both arms um, pretty straight as they work their way through. Um, then once they can do that, then we progress it where the athlete does it while walking. And once the athlete can do it while walking, and then after that, it's just a matter of taking them and letting them jump while doing the same movement. And Viviana struggled with this, not so much because she didn't have the coordination, because she did, because her timing and her foot placement's correct. The problem is, if you look at her hand, it's 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 loose. Look at her hand, an arm here, it's loose, and it's loose. So even though you can kind of fake it while walking, when you do it in real life, you will not be able to do it. And she was not able to do this movement when, when doing it in real life. As good of a sprinter as she was, her long jumping really never quite um, caught up with her in that in that in that form. Um, the one that actually did the best was probably Elaine, and her timing is pretty much perfect because we want to have the alignment of the arm and the leg pretty much the same as you can see, opposite arm with the leg. So you have the right leg and left arm, and they're almost in the exact same plane. And same with that arm there; it's actually countering that 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 front arm. So it looks pretty good here. Unfortunately, she didn't continue the season, but I think she would have actually done this pretty well had she had an opportunity to practice the whole year. And you work our way from there after the athletes learn how to slide through it. Then we let them walk through. This is a walking imitation. And they come up, turn, cycle, and they practice swinging the arms through. Now, this is, of course, assuming the athlete's already done the chair drill. The chair drill's in another video, so I'm not going to really bog you down with the details of that right now, but let's look at um, a couple of the kids here. We look at Lauren here. Um, she's kind of hypermobile, and this is Lauren, um, the girl back here in the all black. She's actually kind of hypermobile, so she's moving the leg a little bit too high, but nonetheless, I'd rather have it too high than not high enough. Cycle through, and you see her, her arm's a little bit, uh, a little bit off. So even though she gets the legs out and all that, her uh, movements were just super mobile, and unfortunately, that movement right there is not correct. So, um, we get some of the other athletes, and you see them do it. Vivi does it pretty good. So, we practice the movement as if we're taking off from a static position, the takeoff position. Now, you notice this takeoff position. Notice how the back knee is down. Remember, we're rolling in with a locked ankle from the groucho step, so you should be down in order to get up. Projecting up as if we're jumping, cycle down through. Her arms actually a little low, a little slow here, and through. Kick the leg out to the heel. Other foot comes through, just like in, in jumping in real life. Swing the arms through, stand up, collapse the legs, and up and out of the out of the jump you go. So that's how we do it. Basic long jump progression. You do that, then take them to the pit and let them jump, and um, they'll figure it out as far as their timing and position of the body as they work it from there.